British title under the belt, you've right the wrongs of the hundreds. Uh, how proud are you? Yeah, really happy with that. Really happy. You know, there's still lots of things to move on and, and improve on, on there. Um, I probably didn't push it on enough in that middle hundred. I, I, you know, the, the plan was to race the race at the end of the day. Um, you know, there was probably a slightly faster time in that. I felt like I had a bit more in the tank at the end, which is promising for the summer. Um, but yeah, I think, you know, I'm pretty sure that's world number one and world number two. We haven't had that since Tokyo where Duncan and Dino were world number one and two. So that's very promising for the summer and hopefully we can, we can move on there. Sub 145 and you're still saying there's ways to improve. Um, it's kind of a measure of the man that you, you, the goal isn't enough here. There's lots more to come this summer. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, you know, there's lots of lots of big fish in the sea in these events nowadays. You know, I know that David. Uh, I think he just went faster than my under three the other day, so knocking me back to number two now. So, you know, there, there's guys out there going really quick these days. Um, young guys, old guys, doesn't matter anymore. So, I think this is a great place to to try new things and, and learn stuff to take with us into the summer. And I think that's the plan now. We'll be full steam ahead, back in training tomorrow night, and uh, get on ready for this this big summer. How great is it to have a race of this quality? so early on in the season because conceivably there were eight guys there who are world class at 200 meters freestyle yeah yeah absolutely i mean that, that's the just the depth we have in british swimming nowadays on the freestyles um you know we're seeing first across the board on the 50 freestyle first time ever three men under 22 um 100 freestyle you know there's four or five guys there now that can go 47s from a flat start you know and quite a few of us are very good at takeovers so that's really promising as well and then that 200 free is just probably the most stacked event on the, the British swimming calendar and um, you know to get in win that and, and have a good scrap with the lads here is is great practice and great training for the summer. Tom the 203 is always an amazing event it's round of uh, British champs how, how do you think it went? Yeah um, it is an amazing event they always seem to leave it for for the last day I think it's the most exciting it's a blue ribbon event you know you got the top four guys in that event being the Olympic champions in the four by two so it is incredible and like I was saying earlier I'm back in the 144s and that's where I'm really comfortable, that's where I won the Olympics, that's where I medalled at Worlds last year and if I'm there at April it bodes well for the summer. How were your tactics going into it when you knew Duncan was in lane one? Yeah, it's a bit different having Duncan in lane one and I knew he was on form but he's not on you know, Olympic form like he was back then but then you know, nor am I either so that's going to come, that's all coming in, in time so it's more keeping an eye on him down that third fifth, I saw where he was, I knew what I had to do and Unfortunately, on the last length, I'm bringing things the wrong way to this man here, Matt, on my left, but I knew kind of roughly where he was. It's kind of just getting your head down at that point, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, fantastic. So, Matt's the first time under 150, uh, 145. Mm. The relay looks very good for the summer. It does. It's stepping back in the right direction after last year. Last year was a bit of a step back for us. Uh, you know, we didn't have Duncan at the world. Matt wasn't on the four meters on at the Olympics, you know, nor was I, uh, in all fairness. And it was a slight step back, but it's regaining where it was. I think we'll be back to where we were in the summer and in Paris. You know, even in this coming summer, I think our world record's on the cards again because I'm a 143 man in the relay. Duncan and Jimmy are 143 man in the relay. He's obviously a 144, if not quicker now. In a relay and you know you're well into world record territory at that point yeah we're looking we've got a very strong team jimmy's just said that that's the fastest time he's been for four oh, yeah. years mm. uh, it's looking very good not just the top four but actually the top five maybe six so the depth is definitely there yeah you know we always struggle against america in terms of the depth you know simply because of the population numbers but we're showing in this event that we're competitive with them especially within our top four and five guys so that's really exciting i've seen the work that jim's done in the past few months and he deserves that and more when it comes to the 203 so what are you hoping to do in the summer because you've got the 103 potentially the 203 
through the 200 IM, the relays, are you going to look to drop one or are you going to do all of them? Well, I raced five events at the Olympics and that was tough and I stepped up to 13 at World Champs last summer, 13 again at the Commonwealth Games. So I'm starting to get used to busier schedules, busier programmes, so I want to see how far I can push it this world and find that sweet spot for when I head into Paris. Brilliant. Off for a rest now? That's the plan after a really important interview with the Weekly Freestyle. <laughs> Thank you guys. <laughs>